Right, gang, it's your Viking Earl here, back for some more Danish dynamite as we conquer more of England. And on this one, we actually conquer a bit of Ukraine too. Well, hopefully. Roll the intro. That's right, everyone. It's your Earl. Are you crazy here? Clearly pretty crazy. And today we also take on Ukraine, which is kind of funny because that is historically accurate. Dynamo well, Kiev is actually founded by a Viking. I can't remember his name. Oleg or something. And I thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look into it if you don't believe me. But yeah, we are indeed in the Europa League. As I said, we kind of stole Leicester's spot, which, I don't know, it's probably cheating a little bit. But like I said, I just want... I want the Danes to play as much football as humanly possible. So that is what we're going to do. And in the group, we are mixed with Kiev, Antwerp and Wolfsburg. So not exactly an easy group. Um, oh, they have a Dane there. Should I be worried? I mean, he's literally me, mine. Mm -hmm. They have two. What the heck? I didn't even know. They're learning with me. And of course, a Dane here as well. Duelon. Eh. Any Danes here? No, I guess we now have to check everywhere because I didn't even know. But yeah. First, though, we play Manchester United, but before that, let me just see, show you what has actually gone on. Not too much, but we're out of the Carabao Cup now, because, well, who on earth cares about that? Apparently Arsenal do, because they played their strongest 11. We, meanwhile, we rotated, so I guess it says a lot about Arsenal that <laughs> it's probably the only tournament they actually have a chance of winning. So they smashed us. I mean, we still dominated, I think, in a very even game, 1-2, whatever. Then we followed up with a 3-1 win away to Villa. Pretty good. Uh, so, in the league, it's actually going, well, all right, you know. We're sixth with, well, we only played four matches and t seven points. So, considering the um, schedule, it's not too bad. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, we have a bit of a tough tie ahead of us. Because I fear that Manchester United are going to, well, prove to be quite the challenge. But, you never know. Um, I did do a bit of business uh, tra right on transfer deadline day. Because if uh, if you know about this guy, Mr. Nikolai Paul Boylison, who is uh, our second left back, he decided to get injured for six to nine months. So that's wonderful. And uh, sadly, that's a bit of a theme in his real life career. So yeah, we had to do a bit of business. So I went out in the market and I found this geezer, Mr. Andreas Paulsen, who was pretty decent. Uh, good work rate. For, well, of course, of course, of course. But good long throws and we like that. And um, good pace. And he's only 21. He actually has a lot of room to grow. So very happy about this one. And it only cost me like well, nine and a half million, right? So, not too shabby at all. And, uh, yeah, he will play when absolutely uh, needed because normal left back Domizi is kind of struggling here and there. I don't quite know what it's all about. Uh, natural fitness, maybe, but yeah, he, he gets tired really easily. Uh, I'm not quite sure. On the injury front as well, Mr. Brun Larsen has also picked up a bit of an injury. So, um, Dumpko will be playing today. Other than that, it's Pretty straightforward. Vest, Pleasant, and Care, Dumizi, Hoybia, Delaney, Sko, Eriksen, Damsko, Paulsen. Ah, that was hard. But let's get into it. United, here we come. Right, and as you can see, United do have a pretty scary team. Van der Beek and Park there in the middle. Uh, maybe not Van der Beek, but who knows. And also, they're playing McTominay as a central defender. I'm not quite sure what's going on there, but I mean, he has 16 tackling. He's pretty accomplished there. Maybe he's their, their Fabinho. I don't know. But yeah. Let's get into it. I'm hopeful at least. United keep the ball. Van Pazaka, the tackling mastermind. And that is just very fortunate, isn't it? I mean, Mikkel Damsko apparently missed the interception. That's not what you want. Yeah. Van de Beek, just to... I mean, it's so easy for them, isn't it? Van Pazaka, then Greenwood, is it literally? No, it literally is to run to Rashford, and then I don't know what was going on there with the right back. Not great at all, and now these have, of course, changed, so I'm going to change them back. Uh, I want the United formation here, yes. I don't know if you guys have that, but mine just keeps swapping around. It's it's pretty ridiculous. Okay, finally another highlight, but I'm not sure it's going to go our way. Rashford to Schmeichel, safe hands from him, apparently, which is rare. Now, let's see, his distribution was okay. Okay, are we going to build from the back? Calm down, there's open spaces on the left. Yes, do the overlap. Ooh, I'm worried. I'm worried here. Nice ball. 
to do me to the action pose them to the action you can do you can do yeah the Kaya with a good save there I guess because if it was Michael it would have been just palmed it into the goal right sadly didn't happen there now we're gonna get anything from a corner of course not it's corners we all know what corners mean in football manager okay another highlight as we are trying to build from the back which so it's somehow just very scary. Um, but let's see if we can actually hold on to the ball. Vass with the cross to Poulsen. I mean, that was great finish for a change. But a bit unlucky off the pole, uh, off the bar. Maybe he should have actually done better. But good chance at least. We are showing a bit of intent. 9-7 shots. And they have 5-2. and two. Hmm. Okay, another chance. I mean, we seem to be playing all right. Yeah, Vass, I'm going to cross it. Paulson? But yeah, Paulson doesn't score goals, is the problem. He only scores easy goals. Or <sighs> like what do you do? So he's, Everything has been going fairly well so far, so not too, as I say that, of course. And then it's completely random. Are we going to score? Of course they are. And want to know why? Because our reputation is the reputation of Southampton. So when you play big clubs, Silly things like this happen so you lose the game. That's how a football manager works. If you play versus a better team, they don't smash you. Stuff like this happens and they score. Well done, SI. What a fun and interactive game you've created. Right, and I have time. I mean, look at the stats. What is going on? Ugh, I feel like we've been... Well, we have been unlucky, to be honest. But I'm going to show... Oh, I'm going to say you haven't done well enough at all some of the players are playing like Mikkel Damsko as much as you like him on the left wing he's not been playing very well as that was not good from Daniel Vest now United just keep the ball are they gonna stretch us long I, uh, I guess so I mean and then just that to Martial who's fast and then we're gonna do something silly oh great tackle from Simon Kier okay nice and easy yes Damsko Delaney Dump score again. But then that happened. Are you joking? And Schmeichel apparently forgets what goalkeeping is. See, well done. Do you remember what I said about the last goal? Yay! Sometimes it's so fun playing football manager. Yay! What a great game they've made. Yay! Right, time for change because Dump score is clearly being some sort of SI spy or something, but who do we put on? Who do we actually trust? Well, no one really, but let's put Braithwaite out there. Ugh, it's so frustrating that okay, the first one was a bit random, right? But then two goals from just mistakes. You saw in the other games that Smigel made mistakes and stuff. Like, we were lucky to have as much many points as we have, considering we had to deal with SI and their silly game mechanics. So, are we going to throw it Oh no, Damsgaard is still on the pitch. Oh no, I'm worried. Look at that! Look at that! And then... I mean, he's clearly going to get a straight red from that one. But what is that? Don't tell me that professional footballers suddenly can't pass it to... Well, in this case, someone in a red shirt. It is retarded! Oh, it's just so frustrating, right? Okay. What do we do? Hoibia is having a shocker, so actually I'm gonna well, swap him round, put Hoibia down there for now, then see, because I'm pretty sure, oh, we do have our new guy, actually, let's give him a chance, and then Ericsson has deep line playmaker on support, I mean, this is gonna like, just go ugly now, isn't it, all this, ignore, go away, oh, seriously, oh, I didn't even press play yet, shout, demand more, because that's what you do when you're a man down. Just demand more. Mikkel Damsko is somehow still on the pitch. How does that happen? I already changed him. SI! Sports Interactive is, well, not very interactive indeed, is it? You do stuff and it doesn't work. Okay. Nice and calm here. Find him on the left. Yes. Braithwaite. I mean, he doesn't score goals either. But of course he does now because we're a man down and we're going to get wrecked. So why not just score goals? I mean, I don't need to see it again. Come on, don't get my hopes up. We're still, well, I want to say dominating, but slightly better than United, at least, in terms of stats. But yeah, when you just make stupid mistakes like that, 
I mean, that was a great block from Christensen, to be honest. And then Pogba, <laughs> I mean, that almost deserved a goal, but... And Delaney now, yeah, just hacks him down. Don't get a... Okay, I was going to say, that's definitely not a red card. Mm, demand a bit more, um, because, frankly, why not? What else? Okay, as a, there's a highlight starting, but Wobot Skull is also having a shocker. Uh, I guess the only thing to do is put Fiona's sister on. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Yeah. Oh my god, another one. I mean, that was just fortunate, right? But Smeichel does actually save it. Great save. That was pretty fortunate for them, and I guess unfortunate for us, but... Mm, this is just so darn typical, isn't it? Oh, as we somehow claw our way back. Are we going to do it? I mean, you're, now you're probably getting my hopes up. Paulson with the header. Let's see that one again. That was pretty snazzy. Okay, Vass with the corner to Sisto. Then he, is it Vass? Yeah, Vass with the cross then. And then Paulson and Braithwaite jumps highest, but Paulson gets it. I feel like Braithwaite were, were uh, kind of celebrating there. He thought he maybe hit it. But, oh, well. Okay, like 12 minutes to go plus at a time. And uh, yeah, this looks ominous <laughs> i'm not sure that was a, a yeah okay so now they decide to okay let's score an easy goal not an easy goal let's score a good goal i mean it was a good goal from fernandez let's not take anything away from it but yeah it should be 2-2 two -two now it should be 2-2 two -two. and of course goals change games and yeah now we're man down and <sighs> just uh okay there are going to be a man down there as well absolutely we have anything else we can do? I don't think so. We've 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 used all three subs, right? Have we? No, we have not. What can we do then? Um, I mean, I don't know why, but just put Billing in there instead of Mr. Delaney as the box to box. Because Delaney, he's been uh, he's been uh, wanting a red card as well. It seems. Okay, let's demand some more. Actually, I mean, what a Highlightful uh, match at least. Uh, this is going to be a, a, a pain to edit, but uh, expect it all to see in training anymore because that was awful. Yeah, awful indeed. Um, so, and then four days from now we're playing in the UEFA Cup. So actually, I just lied to them massively because I will rest them for two days. <laughs> so that's how it works. But uh, yeah, what a bloody shambles that was. Typical SI. I just hate it sometimes but okay okay it's united calm down we're not gonna win the league this year there's nothing to worry about this is a long-term plan anyways on to the next one kiev revenge time well it's not really your fault but we want revenge and we are back back for more hopefully not more humiliation uh basically the team stays the same i know it's silly we just got wrecked one chance though uh one change is born larsen comes in for um mr dumps goal who's apparently not registered <laughs> oh well uh but born larsen has been really really good in the start like he scored three goals already uh but other than that it's literally going to be the same squad uh same squad yeah uh and the reason for that is i don't think we're that bad i just want us all to start yelling and i think the best way of doing that is just play the same uh only seven out of possible. Oh, you can have loads more subs apparently. Why doesn't it show me here then? Okay. But yeah, I just want to get my players rolling. <coughs> Which hopefully means we'll take our Viking rage out on poor old Dynamo Kiev. Who apparently are favorites for this one. At least during my uh, team talk or whatever. It said that we are a huge underdog. Which I don't really agree with. But they do have some pretty decent player. Like Verbich is an old one. But then they have a Tsugankov. Which is a... Great new, like, I don't want to say one like kid, but he's definitely, definitely very good. And then they have, of course, Miguel Dula in the Danish. Not one like kid, just kid, I guess. But I fancy our chance. I think we should win it, be winning this one. Absolutely. So, yeah, let's destroy them. And, of course, now this one has changed again. So I will just put it back to Danish. Okay, let's go. At the corner, can I get a good start, maybe? Go has it again. Into Hoybia. Oh, nice goal from Hoybia. Yeah. 
could hold up play from Skull there, who has been really bad. I even had to, like, my assistant told me to slack him off, so I did. And he was like, yeah, I'm sorry, that. Sorry, boss, I'll play better, I'll play better. And he at least gets an assist here. I'm not sure he did a lot of the work, but, I mean, <laughs> uh, the goalkeeper should get an assist as well. But, oh, well, he gets the assist. Happy for him. Okay, another corner. Uh, is it actually going to... Oh, no, Skull is there. I mean, we just picked him up. Delaney. Oh, great little pass to Wun Larsen. Is it offside? It doesn't seem offside. The, the linesman has run off, so I guess it's a very good goal. Let's see. Great little pass from Delaney there, right? In between, how many players is that? One, two, three, four, kind of, yeah. One, two, three at least, yeah. And then Boone Larsen just slots it in there. Like I said, it, he's been really one of our best players in the beginning of this season. Mm. It's very, very good. And 22 years old. He can, he can certainly develop. Okay, now Dynamo Kiev coming forward. That was some sick tackling there. I think we tackled the three t players at once there. One of them was our own. Von Larsen to Poulsen, does he score? Of course not, of course not, of course not. Calm down, calm down. Don't get too excited. Now Sigankov brings it forward. <laughs> and we just, well, 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 no, nothing to be said there. That was a bit of Viking race for sure. <clears throat> but yeah, Kiev remains on the ball. Suduchuk has it. And uh, no, we... But Mikulenko now has it. Go, don't don't make silly mistake here. I mean that was retarded. Are you having a laugh? Okay, of course it's a penalty, but is he also going to get a red? Of course. What is that? What is that? Second in a row now. I mean, we'll just do the bloody same exactly. Are you joking me? Are you absolutely okay? Is he gonna? Yeah, of course he's gonna score. Uh, it was going so well. I don't need to see it again. It was a penalty. Jesus. And we're not gonna go very defensive. We're gonna stay as we are. That has always been my motto when going a man down. Um, and then you just remove the in this formation. You just remove the AMC and do whatever tinkering you need to do. But yeah, now they are just. Good kind of wah, good save there from Schmeichel and uh, yeah. Well, you don't want to invite too much pressure, really, and like I, I, I honestly, I don't know. I mean, suddenly they are obviously. Uh, should we stay on our feet? Nah. I mean, maybe we should, considering those bloody tackles, right? I mean, I know I put hard tackling on some of their players, right? But there's a difference between hard tackling and then doing bloody scissor things, as. Paulson finally scores, but it's apparently offside. So why did you continue the highlight then? Just blow the whistle straight away, right? Okay, I mean, he's clearly offside, so what are we... Okay, let's do it. Stay on our feet. It's just help when playing football, but... Okay, as we have a throw-in, Vess tries to find scope, but no, Eriksson now recycles. The Daini, the last one is there. Do me easy, do me easy. Someone just... Is it offside again? No, it's not. Okay, the linesman has at least fudged off, so that's good. Use of Paulson with a goal. Yeah, like I said, it does take him many chances, but he does sometimes score, which is great. I mean, we don't need to see it again. Now we just need to get to halftime, and then I need to say encouraging stuff. Oh, no, not, not, just, not like this, right? Let's just get to halftime. Let's not concede here. It's a, it's a, it's a good lead. We're a man down. It's a... I mean, are you having a laugh? To do a chug with some sort of, I mean, it looked like he hit it with his toe. Are you joking? Am I already going to get proper ragey and like a month into the save? Okay, let's see this again though. Does he hit it with the toe? I mean, pretty much, right? And then, uh, Michael, it's in the top corner. I can't complain, but... Uh, don't get complacent. Things can turn around and all sorts. The ball is round and uh, you should pulse in this shit and all sorts. Just set... Tell him stuff like that, okay? To me, see. Okay, nice. We we get the ball back, okay. Just shoot or something. A sneaky little shot there, but good save from Bushan. Oh, no. Don't counter from a bloody goal kick, or whatever it's called. A goal... I mean, it's not goal kick, but you know what I mean. A goalkeeper kick, let's say then. Okay, nice and easy. Schmeichel. Calm down. Busa, yes. Okay, let's see if we are a smaller team than Dynamic Kiev. Because if we are, we're going to lose the ball and they will run down and score. Which 
to be fair, they haven't done. Their skulls have actually been well, uh, good, haven't they? Ooh, Boone Larsen with a header as well. Nice assist from that. But see, this is what I mean. I never go, like, defensive or anything. I just stick to the same. You want to be able to do this, and, like, you may as well just go for it. You're either going to get wrecked by United 4-2, or you're just going to still dominate the game. As long as you have the ball, keep it the same. We need to make some changes here. Uh, Paulson on for Dumisi, because Dumisi is frankly scaring me, and a bit knackered. So, ah, Delaney can come off for Billing as well, because, oh, box to box. Yes, and then pretty straightforward. Fresh legs, let's not do anything silly. Those are like the safe substitutions I would I can make at least. It's not going to ruin too much, I hope. That was close. Yeah, next one is definitely getting Christian Eriksen off. He's also knackered, and yeah. But let's let's give him an assist first. Uh, not sure about that one. Keep it clear, he cleans it. He cleans it? He claims it. And then cleans it. Ooh, they are coming forward here. They are angry. They are angry about the Viking. Zweigel! Zweigel! Are you alive? What has happened there? I need to see this. Okay, Zygankov. So it's pretty straightforward. And Driewski to Sharapov. Okay, it kind of goes through him, doesn't it? I'm not impressed with Michael, by the way, in this one. <laughs> Can you tell? Uh, the problem is we only really have one other option, which is Mr. Lucas Anderson. Bit of a wonder kid back in the day as well when he was in Ajax. I mean, how old is he now? Okay, okay never mind. Let's just score this first. Oh, not this again, then. I mean, of course, these situations are where you don't really want to be attacking, but... Okay, I mean, oh, what was that? Okay, uh, and then the tackles. They're definitely all my word. Shabanov with it, to Mikulenko, to Verbic, and Drievsky. These names are fun to say. I mean, they're probably saying them wrong, but still, they, it's, it's fun. Zygankov, who somehow keeps the ball there. That is... Quite the overlap now. Don't, don't you dare. I mean, he's so open there. And then, oh, bounces everywhere. Okay, it is time to now go cautious. And, I don't know. Oh, no, I forgot. We can make more subs. We can make five subs in the... Yeah, let's get Fisher on. Do that. Boom. And then, oh my god, they're going to have a chance, aren't they? They're going to score. I just know it. Get Dolby on. Why not? Yeah, you can make five subs in the first season in Europe. I completely forgot about that. But yeah, definitely worth to remember. Make as many subs as you should. Defensive! Oh no, why? Let me go defensive! Jesus. Oh, you have to be kidding me. Not like this. Simon K clears it. But now we are... <laughs> Did you think it was going to go in? I definitely thought that was going to go in. I mean, we've been absolutely hammered here. 32 shots, 10 on target. Well, we had 10 on target as well, but... Somehow scrape a 4-3 win. <laughs> well done, lads. Jesus, the amount of stress. Woo! I mean, what is going on? Schedule. The amount of editing I'm going to have to do after... What's that? 6 goals and then 7 goals. 13 goals. This episode is going to be humongously long. So, um, yeah. But thanks for watching. And uh, I'm going to go take a nap now. Because that was stressful. And uh, until next time. Goodbye.